Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are making some nice dalpita. Now that the winter is approaching us, it's nice to have a good arty meal. I've got one cup of pea dal already boiled out. I put it out to boil quite early because the water becomes very hard in Joburg. So it takes slightly a longer time. Now that it's boiled out to the complete uh, finish, nice and smooth, I'm going to add in a tablespoon of rough salt, but you can add on to your taste. A small teaspoon of hardi, and to it I'm going to add a tablespoon of rama margarine that rama is to avoid my pita sticking together now i'll show you all how we make the pita for the dal okay for my pita i have a 250 ml cup of all-purpose flour uh, to this i'm going to add a tablespoon of oil to make it able to roll out. I'm going to add in my uh, small teaspoon of fine salt to give the pita its own taste and thereafter I'm going to use one cup of tap water but I'm going to go very slow because we don't want to make a soft dough So the water was three quarter of a cup. And then I'm going to make it into a roti dough. For normal roti, you use hot water, not boiling water. water. This one you use cold water because the dough will be a bit stiffer. Yes, and another thing cold water will keep it firm. Boiled water will uh, melt it out, and you get all your pitas broken. When your hands are sticky, you can add on some flour. Why I'm making a small dough? Because uh, normally flour thickens our. Uh, pita doll so we don't want much of it because we had to eat it with a nice serving of dal and now my dough is done it's ready for rolling out I'll have to wash my hand quickly and get back to it okay I'm going to use my countertop for rolling out the pita, I dust my flour on top and this is my dough. You can see it's not a very big dough because you don't want to have too many pita to overpower the dal. So you can, you can see it's quite workable, it's not too soft, it's not too hard. We take a little ball of dough uh, like a roti piece and then we will roll it out not too thin though you can take a bigger piece of uh, dough and roll it out bigger Okay, you can see for this piece I can make four pieces of it I will cut it out But 
but when making a chicken stew or mutton stew, you can add in dumplings by making little round uh, small balls of flour and throwing it into your stews. But pita is, you had to cut them out. Right, another four will come out. You can see I am not rolling it very thin. It's a slightly thick. Okay, here's my dal. You can see it's uh, not very thick, it's quite weak because when we're going to add in our pitta, the pitta will make it thick. Now I'm going to add in my pitta with that one cup of flour dough that I made. I made four ball and I rolled out 16 pieces. Why I like having my pieces a little small it will be able to pick up with your fork when eating. It's not like something that's very big. It will be eatable. So I'm going to add in all my pita into the doll. And within 10 minutes that will boil out. And then I'll be ready to grease. Okay, every now and then I slightly pick up the pita, don't allow it to settle to the bottom, otherwise it will start burning. But while this is boiling for 10 minutes that I told her, I'm ready to braise the pita. For the braising, we need half a cup of oil, a tablespoon of rama, half a teaspoon of mustard seed, half a teaspoon of jeera, two dry chilies, and one small onion finely cut. I have my pot already on, and I add in my oil. And then my rama. In fact, the rama brings out a nice flavor. Then goes my onions, and I will wait for the onions to brown a little. My onions are fried out, a light brown, so I'm going to add in, break my dry chilies and add it in. You can add dry chilies the way you like your hotness in your pita. And I'm gonna add in my mustard seed to fry and my jeera seeds to fry. Now if you feel your pita is slightly thick, then you can add a cup of boiling water, but you can see our pita didn't get thick because we had it quite weak. Okay, our onions are fried out, and then we're gonna pour it in to our pita. it and then you can see actually see 
how the pita is left in separately, not stuck together. And then I'll, I'll allow this to simmer for five minutes and I'll switch the stove off. There you go, my dal pita, which I'm serving with some canned beans chutney. And I also have some nuts chutney, a very nice, rich, hearty and hot meal for the, the winters. Thank you for watching. Bye.